The mission of You Aspire is to provide students who aspire to go to college with the financial information and resources that are necessary for an affordable path to higher education. I'm Jenny Johnson for Comcast Newsmakers at Suffolk University's downtown Boston studio. Bob Giannino Racine, President and CEO of You Aspire, joins me. Welcome, Bob. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Jenny. All right, so let's break it down. Tell me a bit about You Aspire and the programs that are offered to young people and families. We partner with schools and community-based organizations currently in three cities in Massachusetts, Boston, Springfield, and Lawrence, uh, to deliver high-quality, intensive, college affordability support starting in seventh grade going all the way up through college completion to ensure that young people find an affordable path to and through their higher education. Okay, so now we have some sense of the mission. So tell us exactly what kind of impact you Aspire's had. Well, over the last year alone, we helped young people in those three cities find $85 million to pay for their college education, thereby reducing uh, the costs on, their fa on them and their families to afford college. In addition to that, uh, we find that 85% of the young people that we serve uh, move into their second year of college as, a, uh, as compared to the national average, which is about 65%. Wow, that's very impressive. Now, so you mentioned Boston, Lawrence, and, and Springfield, but you're also expanding across the nation. That's right. In fact, uh, this fall, we'll launch our first site outside Massachusetts in Miami, Florida, um, and have plans to partner with up to 10 additional communities um, over the course of the next few years nationwide towards the goal of reaching a million young people a year uh, in 2017. Because this is clearly something that can extend throughout the nation, absolutely. A problem everywhere. I want to talk about college affordability. It's always had some national attention, but it's really sort of steadily gaining even more. Why now? Well, it's probably a problem that should have been addressed decades ago, frankly, um, and we're just getting around to understanding the role that affordability plays in hampering young people's abilities to get to and through school. And so we've really tried to take a, a multi-pronged approach at ensuring that affordability issues don't get in the way of young people. When you look at, uh, young, I'm sorry, young people getting to and through college, mm -hmm. when you look at the economy of the 21st century, almost every high uh, paying, uh, faster, fast growing job is gonna require some kind of an advanced degree. And so as a result, we really need to be figuring out how we're getting more young people there. That starts with filling that pipeline with more students, but it's also about making sure that once they get into the pipeline, they get through to a degree and into the workforce. Move through the finances and keep that in mind. You know, for those watching at home, you know, people know that colleges $50,000 and, and up. So what is your advice financially for these people watching at home? Well, the first thing is to recognize that those prices that you see in the newspaper are not really the price that most people pay for college. That is the, the sticker price, if you will. And the net cost is often much lower. And in fact, for young people from inner city communities who are the first in their families to go to college, the price is often much, much less expensive because there's financial aid, there's organizations like you aspire that are there to help them navigate the path through and college really can be affordable if young people and families have the advice and information and support that they need to navigate that often very cumbersome path to and through school you are the leader of you aspire now why is this so important to you personally well, I'm the first in my family to have gone to college and have graduated from college and I struggled with paying and so I know that if I had had uh, you aspire in my life I would have uh, it would have been a more seamless uh, path for me well that's wonderful Bob thanks so much for being here and sharing a little bit thanks for having me Jenny thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers I'm Jenny Johnson